Why hello there and welcome back to Let's Play Breath of Fire 2, the retranslation. Last time we uh, made sure the Upa Rupa were extinct from this world. Yes, there's not a single one around anymore. And I told you I would meet you at the circus in Tunlan. Unfortunately, Tunlan does not exist in this world. So we will have to... Well, deal with Melodia instead. Oh, well. You've gotta be kidding me. Circus only open during the day. Fortunately... Ryu knows how to advance time without using AP, so that's nice. Anyway, we decided not to bring an Upa Rupa. Whatever shall we do? I suggest we beat up the Circus Director dude and take the Grassman dude with us. Hello! Oh, by the way, I <laughs> kind of switched around my party members a bit. Stan is bonded to Sanamo and Rand is bonded to Seso. I'll give you nothing, foul old man! <laughs> Hmm, Upa Lupas, Grassman. And now a mammoth. Extinct species all over the place. So, what should you do, Run? How about we have you attack? Actually, you are not even at full. Thanks. You do that. You. Lin actually deals quite a lot of damage with her normal attack. More than her thing would do. Slice attack. As for you... Hmm... Well, you're not gonna be very useful either way, so... Rage. That sounds painful. Yeah! Yeah, I guess it's time to heal some. Oh, by the way, this guy's name is Ringmaster. Some of you may not have recognized him. Normally, he wears this stupid mask that makes him look like... Spider-Man. Have to think of it, he needs two more horns and he could pass off as a Spider-Face. <laughs> so, as far as healing goes... Rand, you deserve that. Ryu, how about you attack? Lin, you heal yourself, because you're the one who is the closest to dying, if he does that another time. Attack! Ow! <coughs> that was not very nice, Mr. the Mammoth. Well, Lin, you give an ammonia to that guy. I hate using ammonia. It's so expensive. Stop doing the rage thing. Come on. Then again, I guess 48 damage to everybody is a little better than... If he does it again, three quarters of my party are dead. Yeah, well... Well... And you, my dear friend of monkey origin, get to eat a roast. If you can manage to survive. Oh wait, I think I did that one wrong. Um, you attack, just to pile on the damage. You heal yourself, 
you eat a roast. Roast you can get from hunting, and you to get rid of this charcoal. <laughs> Now we are. Oh, come on! Well, this is not going as well as I would like it to. Um, arouse the monkey. We need more dragons up in this battle. So, do you eat some wisdom fruits? You attack. No, not you. Well, as long as you dodge, it's fine with me. Yay! The monkey is awake again. Now let's hope he doesn't die. Actually, you heal yourself. You unleash the power of the dragon upon this thing, and you feed the roast to the monkey. Force feed it if you need to. As for you... I don't know, let's blast this guy in the face with Simoon. You're raging quite hard there. Buddy. Hmm. Okay. You healing. You attack, I guess. As should you do. And you. Hmm. Try your normal attack. Dang it! I was hoping that exactly that wouldn't happen. But no! Can't let. He died! He killed Lin because he had 4 HP or less left. Is that what you are telling me here, game? Game? laugh at your death as much as I wish, especially since you did so mean things to Lin. She's my kitty. She shall never be yours, demons. Well, obviously these are bars. No, they are there for keeping you inside, not just for show. But obviously the door wouldn't be at the front. What do you expect? Um, also... You could ex escape the whole time, couldn't you? Yes, we have. Of course, we are the chosen few. What did you expect? This is a JRPG, after all. You always play as the chosen few. Pretty much. Hmm. 
the elder tree you say Um Sure, let's assume this explains everything. Cough, cough! What a uh, plot wall. Yes, we finally gained the ability to walk through forests. Like Bo allowed us to in the first game. So we will take, of course, this guy with us. So Lynn is then close to leveling up, so she comes with us as well. That order seems kind of broken, let's do this instead. Also, by dying, he is then unbonded from his shaman thing. Also, if we go back into the circus, they are now closed. I see. Hmm. That new place just south of New Haven. You wouldn't be talking about Township. Yay, we are getting... Things. What's it called? Also, when I said close to leveling up, um, I meant... Close to leveling up. Yes. So, today, let's use the rest of our time. The secret to women everywhere. <laughs> well, that was maybe slightly too mean. There's gonna be a lot of hateful comments from feminists all over the page. Oh well. No, what I'm trying to look for... Most of these women can't really talk to us. Because... We don't beat women. <laughs> um, no, I'm also not interested in the button shop. I wish to loot this place. That is... that's the church. Um, I have no business in there. I'm especially looking for one certain treasure. Anything here? Yes, sacred do And nothing there. Okay. So... However, in here, there should be more treasures. And... Why this room has two doors is beyond me, but... Oh, well... Yay! With that, we have three tokens. Also, we can recruit this guy for our town. He would let us listen to music. Rather useless, I think. Should we explore the palace? Well, they said the queen was something to look at. So to say. Um, <laughs> Aha, yes. Indeed, there appear to be no men at all in Melodia. <laughs> I'm surprised she is able to eat your food. Considering you tend to cook with roaches and flies and worms. Ah, there's treasure beyond the locked door. Quite a fancy door, I must say, say though. That's a huge throne, for a huge queen, I assume? Chaba, you survived! What? She... what? <laughs> A diet wizard, you say? Whatever is a diet wizard? <laughs> mm, 
yes! Well, I understood you, but I can't talk back to you, so there's that. We may need to come back here one other time. I don't think I will talk to everybody but then, though. So, next, we wish to take a detour. With a whale. To a southern island, yes. Over there, and it's a village that should be rather familiar to us. After all, we basically have seen it in the first game already. Also, we can walk into this tree and talk to this tree with Aspara. Hmm, GG Cup. I see. Well, we didn't quite get Krupp, but at least we got Cup. Now we only need Siemens, and we can start our world war. And she has amazing... Memories. <laughs> well, that sounds inspiring, if I may so say so. Hmm, a dragon god statue. Yeah, it's the village of Oxman, it's Guns. Or Guns. Let's rather call it Guns, because Guns not only means a goose in German, no, it's also the title of a uh, manga, which is a strange one. <laughs> hmm, lots of things all over the place. That's not an exit, it's a window. I couldn't tell. Is there anything here? No, anything there? Yes. A token! But that we have four tokens, yes. I think it's time to play some Otello today. Hmm. Kalashnikov has ideas for weapons. I believe we want to recruit him, but I really forgot to check whether we want to <clears throat> or not. So, I will recruit him, and if it turns out that I didn't want to recruit him, I will replay today's segment off-screen. Which is gonna be all kinds of fun, and I get to maybe save Lin from the Mammoth. So sure, Kalashnikov, how about you join our town? We need more weapons merchants, we don't have enough of them yet. <laughs> We only have three weapons merchants. Whatever shall we Hey, there's nobody down here. Is that something? Oh, hey, there is someone down there. Unfortunately, she isn't going. She's going to hide down here and won't come up. Which is, which is a shame because this is Chi Chi Cup. Or Double Chi Cup. It's a pun on her breast size, of course. Oh, well. <clears throat> These are not actually choices. <laughs> hmm, so you say you're an engineer. <clears throat> hmm. Yeah, the big stuff. Imagine the blank stare because everybody is just concentrating on her memories. <laughs> Are those real? Well, we get some funny dialogue, but it's not worth going through all of the text again. So we have machine trouble. There's a well at our town. And we would like to recruit you to have a look at it. Yes, that is pretty much it. <laughs> and we recruited Chi Chi Cup. So.
so I think it's time to head back to township and I didn't bring someone who can work. But that's fine, we'll just walk or swim there. And then we will play some Othello, even though I'm going over time here. But it's alright. I won't deny you an episode tomorrow, just because I didn't... Where am I going anyway? Here am I going. That's where I'm going, indeed. So wasn't there one of the big trees around here? I don't quite remember. Nope, it does not appear that way. There's one up there by the forest, north of Colossia. Oh well. That's not what we are here for. We are here for several things. First of all, we wish to bond. Because Aspara can bond with Seso. And it's gonna be all kinds of fun. Aren't you cute? And Aspara became a little girl. How adorable you are, Aspara! By the way, have I called Aspara an he, a he or an it? Because I think it would be more appropriate. Hey there, Chi Chi! Um, yeah, her Japanese name, by the way, is I believe. Wait! A flying machine? We can fly with this machine? You better get this machine running! Um, yeah, yeah. Chi Chi Cup's name in Japanese is A Chi Chi, which, if I'm not quite mistaken, is a pun on the words for H. Cup and breast. So yeah, she's a H-breast. It's a thing, apparently. Anyway, we wish to play Othello. However... Um, let me just... Plonk down a safe state. Because I will be abusing safe 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 states to do this. If you plonk that down a token, it is placed randomly anywhere on the board. When you talk to him again, yes, you've got to go through all of this dialogue. And he randomly places yet another one. And this time we were actually quite lucky. Because we can get all four items if we get the other two corners. And it's gonna be all symmetrical and nice. So... I'm gonna save scum until I get this. What you should do if you're playing this on console... That's not what I want at all. Neither is that. That's okay. If you are playing this on console, then I recommend saving before every time you place down a token. Kinda like I'm doing, except much, much slower. No, get me that upper left corner. Ta-da! And we get the first... Otello table. Yes, we wish to get all of the things. In the game there is a total of, I believe, 12 tokens that you can use to win an Otello. 
They have absolutely no purpose if you um, didn't choose this carpenter. Just as the cooking items for cooking don't have really much of a purpose if you didn't choose the first carpenter. But yeah, 12 tokens should be enough to get both of these boards. Once we have enough tokens, I will deal with the second board. So, what did we get anyway? We got a new Soryu, which is a little bit more powerful, quite nice. And a helmet, but I believe someone else can bear that helmet as well. Yes, our monkey can. Yes. And Aspera can equip a new whip, which isn't really any strong or anything apparently, but I guess it exists. Also, his stats are massively boosted by its stats. It's a plant, man. It doesn't have a gender because plants are kind of hermaphrodites. Um. Yes. So, I hope you enjoyed today's episode of Let's Play Turn Aspera into a Cute Little Girl. Um, this is Legion, and fare thee well.